All right, guys, let's get started here. I'm going to get this uh, Xeno calibrated here. And you can see there's a lot of activity going on. While I'm calibrating the Xeno, there's a photographer taking pictures of this two beautiful young ladies. Uh, it is uh, at Libby Hill Park is where I'm at. And it's a sunset. And we're going to be doing a low light camera comparisons between the Femi and the Xeno. And I'm going to be flying the Xeno to recreate the flights that I did when I was flying the, the Femi in August and July of 2019. Again, if you like this video, give it a like by pressing that thumbs up button. If you like the contents, hit that subscribe button, guys. All right, let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started with this video. On the left you're going to see the Femi X8SC, on the right you're going to see the Xeno. Both cameras are shooting in 4K at 30 frames a second. Both cameras are set to full automatic. And uh, as most of you all know, Femi X8SE crashed. And um, the, just the video you're seeing from the Femi X8SE is from August and July of 2019 and the Xeno footage is from September of 2019. I flew the Xeno in a matter to try to recreate the same shot that I had made with the SE. So one of the things that was on my to-do list or to-do videos was to compare the low light capabilities of both of these cameras. And these are the videos that I put together to or at least give me the best example of the capabilities of these cameras under these low light conditions. So I picked Sunset because of the fact that I'm flying from Libby Hill Park in Richmond, Virginia, and the sun sets over the river that gives us this amazing views with the reflection of the sun and the clouds on the river. Obviously, they're two different days on the different lighting conditions, but close enough to make some pretty decent comparisons about the camera, right? So we see the Femi's detail in the clouds and then we see the Xeno details in the lights. It's still amazing to me that we could do this with these aircraft that are under $500 and the Xeno is under $300, right? And the Femi's range is very respectable it could fly pretty far so you know we can get close to that three mile range under city conditions you can easily do one mile two miles and flight times on an easy 20 minutes now the Xeno on the other hand doesn't have that long flight time or that long range but it's got amazing little camera and it's really fun to fly I mean it's one of the best little birds to fly and for under 250 bucks I mean it's hard to find a spark that's under 250 bucks used on Craigslist or eBay I'm still amazed how, how nice these videos come out under these conditions uh, granted, the Xeno video gets a little grainy at times, but it still gives you enough detail to put a decent video together. I mean, it's not commercial quality, uh, but 
it is definitely hobby grade that's really nice now the Femi X8 does a pretty doggone good job too so anyway leave us a comment below let us know which camera you like and why and give us the timelines so we could all read up on why you guys think these cameras are so nice so I'm gonna be quiet let the film roll I want to thank you guys for watching I want to thank you for subscribing ahead of time and supporting the channel and if you like this video as usual give it a like by pressing the thumbs up button thanks guys I'll see you guys in the next video